Greetings, and what up? I'm Milano Rance with Muscle and Magica, and you, my friend, just accepted a quest. In the last quest, we learned a spell to calculate our maintenance level, or in other words, the amount of calories we need to eat every day to maintain our body weight. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, Rance, what if I don't want to maintain my body weight? I'm over here trying to make me some gains. I'm trying to get swole and lean and aesthetic. A spell you taught me is not good enough. <laughs> to which I would respond, come back when you're level 10. Just kidding. If you missed that spell, make sure and pick it up because today we're going to upgrade and I'm going to teach you how to adjust your calories for weight loss or weight gain. So open up that talent tree and let's go. So you cast the spell and now you have a basic idea of your maintenance level. Now if you've been following along on this quest line, you know that gaining weight means eating more calories than your maintenance and losing weight means eating less calories than your maintenance. So, the question of the hour is, how much more and how much less? Before I answer that question, I want to give you some context by explaining to you the point of diminishing returns. Let me put it to you like this. Let's say you're a tank, maybe a paladin, maybe a warrior. You know that defense is good for you. After all, you gotta be able to take a few hits. But you don't just keep on stacking defense on top of defense on top of defense because there are other stats that you need too. Attack power, avoidance, magical resistance. These things are also important to a good tank. So even though defense may be your very best stat pound for pound, there comes a point past which additional defense actually yields less and less benefits because once you reach a certain threshold it comes at the expense of stats that become more worthwhile once your defense is high enough and that is the point of diminishing return yeah it's a lot of math for a video game it's exactly the same thing when we're setting up calories yes theoretically the more calories you eat over your maintenance the more potential for weight gain and therefore strength and muscle gain however there comes a point at which that extra weight gain is no longer desirable because of the extra fat gain that comes along with it and on the flip side the lower and lower you eat below your maintenance the more potential for weight loss. But once you drop those calories too low, the extra weight loss comes at the expense of lean muscle mass. So where's the sweet spot? Now some people are going to be able to get away with more, some people are going to be able to get away with less. But generally speaking, the typical accepted range is about 10 to 20% of your maintenance in either direction. So let's take a couple of examples. Let's say Scorpion's trying to bulk up, because he's got to stay a weight class ahead of Sub-Zero. Now he's a pretty big, pretty lean hell spawn, so let's say his maintenance is around 4,000 calories. He's simply going to get out a calculator and take 10 to 20% of 4,000, which gives him 400 to 800 calories. Add that on top of his maintenance and he's all set. He just needs to eat somewhere in between 4,400 to 4,800 calories per day. Any less than that and he's not really going to be eating enough above maintenance to put on any appreciable muscle mass. Any more than that and that's what we call a dreamer's bulk. Now let's say Sonic the Hedgehog is looking to drop some pounds. He got a little bit carried away and had one too many hot dogs in the casino zone. For the sake of convenience, let's say his maintenance is also around 4,000 calories. Yeah, I know, he's a lot smaller than Scorpion, but do you know how much cardio that guy's on? So Sonic is just going to subtract 400 to 800 calories from his maintenance which means he'll want to consume about 3,200 to 3,600 calories per day. If he eats any less than that, he's going to be risking hard-earned muscle mass. And if he eats any more than that, he's going to be cutting forever. Hopefully that made sense, but please feel free to leave a comment below or send me a message if you need some more wisdom points to upgrade this spell. So if you gained some experience points or maybe even leveled up, then drop me a like. And if you want to come along on the next quest, then subscribe and join my party. Until next time, you lot of rants, logging out.